Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing just a good old chit chat, get ready with me. I just, I just need your help on some stuff. Once again, hopefully there's nothing in my teeth because I just ate a cinnamon roll. I was the intro to my last video and eating cake so you can just see how healthy I am. Today I'm going to pretty much be trying out a lot of like the new products that I got but like I already tried them out, so I'm going to be retesting them out, trying them with different products, things like that. Two of the things I haven't even used on my face yet, and I think I'm just going to be doing like the yellow look that I did the other day. I went shopping and I wore this yellow look and I was just like loving it. If you want to chat with me and also get ready with me, then just keep watching. I'm just going to start with the Maybelline Master Prime. Blur and Smooth, I'm just starting with my face because this is a really simple eye look. I'm using this primer because... It's like not too glowy. I want to retry out the AOA Studio BB Cream. If you saw that video, then you know it was like glowy. This is the AOA Studio Perfect BB Cream. I have tried this out once, like since then, with this primer. Also blending this out with my AOA Studio Wonder Blender. I know I use like a lot of Shop Miss A products in my videos, but that's because I truly love them. Um, they haven't sponsored any of my videos, uh, they wouldn't even look at my channel probably because I don't have a certain number of subscribers, a certain number of views, you know. I wanted to kind of talk about views. This isn't about like the views, like the actual number. You have to look at the number of views to see what people actually like. I don't want to waste my time making a video that only 10 people are going to watch. That's probably what's going to be the case for this video. My true loyal subscribers will watch this so thank you if you are watching this because I've noticed recently that and I've actually seen other YouTubers point it out that tutorials aren't like what people watch anymore and it's actually really sad that's what you would think would be watched pretty much the only tutorials that get watched are the like the super big youtubers i just don't want to be wasting my time on makeup looks if y'all don't want to see them but if y'all do still want to see them just let me know but also i do need to know some tutorial ideas because i really wanted to film an actual tutorial today but one i was like well no one's gonna watch it so what's the point of me wasting my free day doing this and two, I literally don't know what to do because anything that I think of is blue and I just feel like I've done a bunch of blue. I just feel like the people who will watch it anyways will be my true world subscribers. I love watching people put on makeup, but apparently not many people do anymore. Obviously, I don't get a lot of views on my videos anyways. I'm going to be trying out the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define full coverage concealer and I totally messed mine up because I like tried to get this thing off and then I ended up making it look worse. I should have just kept it on. So I'm going to start with that much but I should just learn these things because every time I try and fix things it ends up making it look worse. So should have learned. I'm not trying this out to find a dupe for shape tape. I'm actually seeing if this is better than it. If y'all watched for a while, y'all know I'm not like the hugest fan of shape tape. It's not that full coverage on me. I'm just saying if it's more full coverage because some people have said it's better, but yeah. And it's not. Uh, obviously, I do have more coverage on this side. I don't know why nothing has full coverage on me. Also, I try and do like every other video like I do a makeup video and then I do a sit down video or whatever that could be like faith related that could be favorites that could be you know anything other than putting on makeup so I try not like put out makeup videos but I also try to put out makeup videos so sometimes I'm like like this week and I was like I actually don't know what to film for a makeup video so I ended up doing this one because I just really wanted to talk about this recently I've been watching like a lot of youtubers my age and i just see how successful they are i don't think i'm jealous i'm just kind of like wondering what that is like you know i'm gonna set my under eyes with the maybelline fit me powder i haven't used this in a hot minute on my channel i really want to start testing out flashback makeup to do people's makeup for like formal prom all that kind of thing obviously prom is pretty much past now but i want to like test like I don't know, I guess that's going to be the summer's job. And obviously you can leave it like 
how it was. I just really like setting with powder even though I have dry skin. It just gives me such a flawless finish. My makeup wouldn't look as good if I didn't set it like and then I just melt it all in with like setting spray. It's also lightening it up a bit. So that concealer isn't full coverage at all. That's how I test it. I do that and if you can still see darkness. Now I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Light Matte Bronzer. Also I haven't used this in a while. What days do you want me to upload? I can switch days. Monday and Thursday is working out for me right now but like I don't know. I don't know if y'all want weekend uploads. I'm going to keep it at two days a week for now. Do you like my morning uploads? Would you rather have afternoon? I was thinking of doing like my pet peeves in a makeup tutorial where I either do the things that gets on my nerves in my makeup tutorials so my makeup ends up being a mess and also just talking about things that get on my nerves or would you rather just me talk about them or would you just me rather me just do the makeup portion? Or do you even want to see that at all? I just think it'd be so fun. You would see my very ranty side. I got this the other day and I'm going to be trying out the Makeup Revolution Soap X Highlighter Palette. I guess I could do that. Shade is my blush. Let's just try. Oh yeah, it just put a big lava shimmer on my cheek. I think I'm going to go in with these three shades. So I've been using the F19 by AOA Studio and y'all know I've loved this brush for a long time but this is the new one that I got. It like is different. It's like more fluffy like I would have thought that it'd be better for under eyes. I'm gonna go into the tap of this one. I've actually been liking this for highlighter better because I'm doing that like method that Mariah Leonard does where you actually just like melt it into the skin where I hold it up and like blend it in so yeah it's better for that method so this has actually been the only highlighter brush I've been using and I actually really like how my highlighter looks. I always use the shade from that old oh, Mad Fair Matte palette for my brows it's literally perfect but I really want to see if there's something similar in this palette just because I know whenever I take it traveling I don't want to have to take the elf palette just to travel with but there's literally no cool tone brown in here. Besides like this one, but I feel like that's not dark enough. We can try that one. We're gonna try Central Park for the brows. I'm gonna go in super lightly because I feel like this is gonna be way too warm. My eyebrows literally look red. Looks like I'm gonna have to bring that elf mad from that palette when I go traveling. I'm gonna take the highlighters we used on the face. Put it on the brow. We're gonna be using a cream sickle. I just used one brush. It's the E126. I'm just going on a cream sickle very lightly at first. I'm not gonna have anything like on the lid. Like some of this yellow will get on the lid, but it won't be concentrated on the lid like my actual yellow makeup look that I did. I think that was September. Was it August? No, it was a speed get ready me. Plus I wasn't using this palette. I'm pretty sure this was the only shade I used. Maybe I went in with a little bit of warmer orange. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the lid. But it's not gonna be that intense. And then blend it. This is gonna go way softer. I don't put down a base or anything. It will just blend away. I've been trying to go out of my comfort zone, like I said, in my 2018 goals. I really want to, like, be more confident. And I'm pretty confident, like, just in no makeup, like, saying that. But, like, uh, I wasn't really confident with actually going out in makeup. On Wednesday, I think it was, I went out for the first time with, like, it was literally like orange and then this color um, on my eyes and I went to Chili's. Chili's is like the best place to go, you know, because I don't know. I've never met a mean person at Chili's, honestly. I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then also on Friday, it went out in this kind of makeup. But I went to Ulta, so I was like, wow. This is like the first time me actually going to Ulta with makeup on because most of the time I don't want makeup on. And you know, does anyone else feel a little uncomfortable when they go in there? without makeup on. I don't know. I just feel like they're totally judging me like, are you even gonna buy anything? You've heard those stories, you know. I'm kind of just putting this all around my eyes, even on the inner corner. And then I'm going to take that on a more precise brush. I'm going to go in with a little bit of hunt. Very little amount on this super teeny brush and put that really close to the lower lash line. Just to give us some definition. Just go back 
Blow. Now we're gonna go in with some inner corner highlight. I actually really like doing a pink with yellow. I'm gonna go in with that pink shade. Now this shade is pinkier than like my normal blossom glow. That's what I used on the inner corner before I got this. So I'll probably end up going over this with a little bit of a shade on the Jaclyn Hill palette. This is a little pinky for what I would want on the inner corner. Now we're gonna set it with my favorite setting spray. Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Setting Spray. Literally, that's all you need. Now that my inner corners are still a little bit moist, I'm gonna go in with Faint. This is still really pink, so I'm gonna go in with this shade because it still has a little bit of a pinky undertone. I don't wanna get rid of the pinkiness. Tight line and mascara. I literally thought a piece just broke off in my eye. All I wore was more of like a pinky lip. NYX Butter Gloss in Raspberry Sorbet, I think this lip color might look really pretty with it. Maybe if I went down the pink inner corner, it would have looked better. Like, how does no one else talk about this applicator? I really don't like this color hot applicator. It's just so messy. So, yeah, here's the finished look. I am going to keep this lip color just because I feel like this combination would be so pretty if, like, I had just, like, a neutral inner corner or just, like, kept it matte. It was the Ultra Satin Lip Dreamy by Kathleen Lights and Colourpop. Please tell me down below your time zone, when you want me to upload, what you want me to upload, what days you want me to upload. I really hope y'all enjoyed this chit chat. Get ready with me. Also tell me down below if you do like tutorials, if you will watch them, if they're worth me making. Also tell me if you would wear this makeup. I love it. I love it so much. I think this is going to be my go-to summer makeup actually. If you liked this video, I would love it if you subscribed down below. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!